Hey everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Today is the day, my friends. It is time for the big mamma jamma of the September hauls, friends. We have two big old boxes to dive into. What I will say is that they are already like pre-dove into <laughs> simply because I did have a couple of orders that needed to go out in a timely fashion and I wasn't I didn't I'd never want to make people wait for things while I do have a few things that are in here for customers they weren't available for me to um drop off their orders just yet so figured I'd go ahead and haul those products with you so we have all kinds of things in here you guys we've got clearance products we've got harvest products we've got warmers we've got wax we've got new products we've got all kinds of things and I am so excited to dive into this unboxing with you so let's go ahead and get started um, the first thing is just kind of right on top we have a couple of fragrance flower flowers I say that because they are now boxed separately. Um, as I mentioned, I have already gone through this box, so um, the oil is probably at the bottom of this box here. Um, the newer fragrance flowers are being packaged separately, meaning the fragrance flower will come in one box and the bottle of oil will come in another box. These are the um, sunflower, fragrance flower flowers <laughs> um I am loving the sunflower design you guys when I get the second box because I did already anxiously open one of my sunflower uh fragrance flowers so instead of making you go through and like open this with me I will bring in the one that I have already opened when I go get the second box but the the sunflower fragrance flowers are like I would say my favorite design of the fragrance flowers yet they have sold out they did sell out rel rel relatively quickly but they will be restocked in October so if you missed out on the sunflower fragrance flowers set your alarms I want to say it's like around October 9th I'll double check on that and I'll put it on the screen but yes be ready because <laughs> they are not going to stick around forever they will be um, only available for a limited time so we don't know how many times they will be restocked but <sighs> the sunflower fragrance flower is like everything so got a couple of those here uh, we also have the harvest collection oil three pack so let's go ahead and check these bad boys out here Okay, so we have this little like spell book situation and you have your little fragrance oils inside. These oils are made to go with our diffusers. And um, up here on the top, it has the fragrance um, names and scent descriptions. So let's go ahead and check this out. So Beatles and Blood Orange. Let's check this one out first. Um, let's see here. Can't really smell anything right now. <laughs> okay. I kind of figured this would be one that I wouldn't be like super excited about only because blood uh blood orange typically for me is a little bit of a bitter scent um I do pick up some cinnamon in this I don't know what beetles smell like <laughs> but uh it's nice I think it's a little bit hmm I feel like I'd want to mix something else with this like a something sweeter like a vanilla or something um, a vanilla based oil with this who knows maybe even one of these other ones but we'll see so this is described as fresh cut palmarosa cast into a cauldron of mold cranberry and orange spice orange spice for sure I don't know about the cranberry I don't know what palmarosa smells like but hmm I don't love it <laughs> I don't love it but we'll see um, I kind of figured with the blood orange I probably would not be a huge fan but let's see uh, next one is snake oil and cedar wood so let's check this one out come on you can do it okay oh yes oh this reminds me of something else this reminds me of another oil we had this is pumpkin and something else oh this is so nice <laughs> I am as basic as they come and I love me a good pumpkin scent oh so good let's see ah yes 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 okay so it's the pumpkin puree for me <laughs> like this reminds me of uh, like pumpkin marshmallow or something like it's oh man it's so good I love this okay simmering pumpkin this set this oil right here is worth the whole three pack 
Ah, okay. Simmering pumpkin puree with a bite of nutmeg stirred with a staff of cedar wood. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, I love this. Yeah. Get me a big old bottle of that. <laughs> I'll take that one. Okay, last one in this three pack is Wolfsbane and Apple Brandy. So let's check this one out. And these are first sniffs. I have not smelled these, clearly. That's good, but it's giving me, and the thing with the oils that's different from the wax is that with the oils, this is all concentrated. So once you put the few drops into your diffuser, it's going to smell a little bit different, a little bit lighter. So just keep in mind, this is like straight up oil. But I'm getting grape vibes from this. <laughs> I'm getting kind of, and I, I don't love grape scents, but I feel like almost like if I mix some awesome apple in with this to bring out, if I'm sure there's apple in this, um, that's just apple brandy. A goblet of apple brandy enchanted with bright ginger root and a dash of sparkling orange. I can pick up the citrus. Maybe it's the ginger that's giving it kind of like a funky twist. Um, but I feel like I do want to enhance like the apple or apple brandy, I guess. This doesn't smell boozy to me. It just smells like grape. It smells like grape to me. <laughs> but... I kind of want to mix some awesome apple in with this. So there's that. By the way, I thought he was going to moan and groan, but um, I've got Ranger that is laying right next to me. So if you hear some moaning and groaning, he's just, he's just taking a nap. <laughs> so, or who knows, lately he's been barking like crazy. So he may run out of here barking and scaring me and you both. So we'll see. But yeah, so that is the uh, Harvest Oil 3 pack that I did pick up. So super excited about that. Okay, uh, let's do the, let's, we'll do the warmers after. We do have a whole, we have a whole other box to dive into, but that's fine. Okay, um, I picked up some things from clearance. <laughs> I sure did. Okay, um, let's see here. So I picked up maybe more, probably, probably this is it. Um, three packs of pods in Bright Cider Life. Um, pods meaning... These are our little plastic casings, our like waxless fragrance uh, system here. So it's a plastic casing with fragrance beads inside. These are made to go with our fan diffuser. Gosh, this is good. This is made to go with our fan diffuser systems, whether it is Scentsy Go, whether it is a wall fan diffuser, mini fan diffuser, air purifier, tabletop fan diffuser, which you may see here in this hall. So exciting. Um, really quickly though, before we continue on, I am actually going to be doing kind of a fun series, different definitely, um, that my friend Tammy had suggested. Um, we're going to do a pod series. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to talk about each um, fan diffuser system that, that takes these pods. And I ordered one of every single pod and we're going to go through and we are going to kind of review each pod and what my thoughts are on each of them. So look forward to that if you're new subscribe so that way you'll stay in tune with all of the things but um so that'll be kind of a fun a fun series coming up probably sometime in october or so but i have them on the way so we'll see um but yeah bright cider life and the pods um, absolutely amazing love it and it is still on clearance so go get you some because they're so good um a pod of pumpkin roll there's probably more pods in here potentially uh but pumpkin roll is amazing ah, love it uh, this was in clearance. It's not anymore. It did sell out, but it's cranberry pumpkin spice. So dang good. I actually still have some from, was that last year? I think it was from last year. Um, these don't go bad as long as you store them properly in a like cool, dry place out of sunlight. Um, these should stay good for years. So you're good. I, I have some that are a few years old and they, I get great use out of them. So good. I love the cranberry pumpkin spice. So delightful. So three pods there. And there's still quite a bit in the clearance section. There's um, there's soaks in the clearance section. There's warmers. There's um, There are a few bars in there. Uh, there's some pods in there. There's all kinds of things. Always, like, whenever you are, like, placing an order, always pop into the clearance section. See if it's been updated um, and just see see what's in there. Maybe there's something that's speaking to you for a good deal. So why not? Okay. Um, okay. I guess I 
think this is this might be the only one in here um d dish soap <laughs> I told you there was going to be more dish soaps in these hauls. Um, a dish soap in autumn road trip. That's right, friends. The, there is dish soap available for a limited time in autumn road trip currently while supplies last in the Harvest Collection. If you love the dish soap as much as I do, run, don't walk, go pick up some dish soap. So I did grab at least one. I think I actually have some more in the other box too. But in this box, I've got one. Because I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Okay. Ooh. Let's talk about wax. <laughs> Let's talk about all the wax bits in here. Now, this is not just mine. There's a few things in here as well as in the other box that is not all mine. So don't at me. Okay. I've got a bar here. This is just going to be like super random, I feel like. So Got a bar here of cinnamon pine cones. Oh, your girl here is so happy that cinnamon pine cones made a return because this, oh man, this was a scent of the month and I was so dang happy that Scentsy made this a uh, scent of the month. I immediately added it into my club and this is so not the type of scent that I am usually drawn to. I'm usually drawn to like bakery scents. This is everything that I typically don't like. <laughs> It's woodsy, it's spicy, but I love it. I, I Because it smells like an authentic, like cinnamon spiced pine cone. Ah, so good, so good. Okay, uh, another one, I, I'm sure there's like some duplicates in here, but um, Snowberry. Oh my gosh, you guys, there were so many of you last uh, fall and winter season that were telling me, oh, Snowberry was my sensey heartbreak not to worry friends snowberry is actually back and that is so unheard of typically when scentsy discontinues a scent for a season typically it doesn't come back unless it comes back for bring back my bar meaning snowberry always is discontinued during the spring and summer months but it has been a pretty regular scent to come back every fall and winter but it didn't come back last fall and winter so whenever that happens it usually means it's not coming back so the fact that it's back now I'll remind you again at the end of the season, but when it goes away, you're gonna need to add it to your club because it came back. Oh, and it's so dang good. It's so dang good. This is a, it's a wintry fruity scent. Oh, I think there's like something called Loganberry that's in the, I don't know what Loganberry smells like, but there's like strawberry and there's like a little like fresh coolness to this. It's winter fruity and I am here for it all day, every day. Uh, one of my favorite fall time scents is welcome home love this this is sweet berries warm spices reminds me of walking into a craft store during this time of year love it okay we have all kinds of i don't know about all kinds but i think there's more yeah there's at least three i think there's more but um pixar's monsters inc monstropolis bar so did pick up a few of these i wanted to give this another try um because i the monsters collection did come back and I was like I want to give this scent another try so I'm giving it a try I it's really I'm not craving this scent right now I like it but I feel like this is the scent I would crave during the spring and summer months because this is like a berry lemonade this I am not in lemonade mode right now I am in like give me fall pumpkins and apples and all the things I'm not in lemonade mode but I feel like I need to figure this out because I have a very short window of when I can add this to my club. I might not. I might just pick up a few more bars while it's available and then just deal with it if I kick myself later. I don't know. It, it just, it smells like a berry lemonade, which is really, really nice. It's just, I'm just in fall mode. So this is just not something that I'm, I'm like totally reaching for right now. But I know a lot of people were super, super happy to see Monstropolis come back. Um, and I know a lot of people did add this to their club because this has been Scentsy Heartbreak for quite a few people. So um, yeah, there's that. Welcome home. Another bar of welcome home. There's probably, there's, like I said, there's gonna be some dupes in here of some things. New release. Oh, speaking of dupes, there's another Monsters Monstropolis bar uh we've got at least two bars of the brand new release dashing which is absolutely gorgeous i love this scent it's so dang good so not what i was expecting there is like it's kind of a 
perfumey vanilla base. It's so hard to describe. Let me let me read you the scent description because it's it's hard to describe. It's but it's absolutely beautiful and so not what I was expecting. So this is in the woods category. Um, dashing irresistible vanilla and creamy mahogany will leave you swooning under fresh night skies so i agree with that even though it's probably hard to imagine what that smells like it's so good so good i love it so i've got two bars this is absolutely club worthy if this goes away for spring and summer which it probably will hands down this will go into my club no questions asked okay um ooh, yeah let's talk about here this I, I picked up, there were some more things in clearance that were exciting. Some bars. I think there should be more than two. There should be more, uh, there should be more than three even. Um, cinnamon roasted pear. So cinnamon roasted pear wound up in the clearance section. So I did pick up a few bars here. Um, that's nice. I couldn't remember if I loved it or not. Um, the cinnamon in the just the scent, the scent title, um, the scent name, did have me a little bit apprehensive, but it's good. I kind of wish there was a little more pear, but you know what? I'm wondering if because I have it in my club, um, if I mix like honey pear cider with this, it kind of mellow out that like red hot cinnamon note. Yeah, so I've got at least three bars here. Okay, and we also have, this is, we've got one bar of Midnight Mahogany, another new release here. Um, this is this is a really nice one as well. Definitely not one I was expecting to like or enjoy as much as I do, because again, it's like, it's woodsy, but this is nice. This I do like this, it's like a sweet woodsy scent. Autumn Sunset. We have this one's a little bit heavy on the spice. Um, this one I know my friend ordered, but um, I know that she loves this, so that's great. Uh, we also have a couple other things here. We have uh, two bars here of Autumn Road Trip. Such a great scent, especially for this time of year where we are wrapping up with summer and getting ready for fall, And but you're not quite ready for maybe the pumpkin scents just yet. This is perfect. This is perfect for that. It's the perfect like start to fall or finishing up with, with summer uh, scent because it's just, it's so good. <laughs> it's so, so good. Mm, I love this. It's just, it's fresh. It's kind of woodsy. It's sweet. How would you, would this be, is this, are, are we calling this woodsy? Are we calling this woodsy? I think we call this woodsy. Nope, we're calling this fruity. I wouldn't call this fruity. Um, this is take a tour through crisp harvest apple, just picked Anjou pear, and a forest of towering silver oak. So the oak is really coming through for me. I don't know what I would really call that like fruity per se, but I would say the apple definitely comes through, pear comes through as well, but it's nice. Okay, we also have, oh, we've got another cinnamon pine cones. <laughs> We have Around the Campfire. Around the Campfire for me, I mean, it's just, it's it's very smoky. This is this is another one for my friend. Um, it's, it's smoky. I know a lot of people are like, oh, this totally takes me camping. I, I don't know. I've been, I've been camping and we, we like to do fires and stuff, but I don't know. It's just, I don't know that I want my house to smell like fire <laughs> okay uh let's see here we also have a couple more things here um we've got cinnamon vanilla so this is a more recent like rediscovery for me um thanks to my little sniff session series um i decided to give this one another try and i i do i really enjoy it i think this is a good like balance between vanilla and cinnamon um it's pretty simple scent but it's, it's good, nothing super complex. Um, it's nice, I don't think it's anything like earth shattering or anything, but it's, it's a good one. Okay, we also have Pumpkin Roll, which is like definitely a favorite scent of mine, and you guys are gonna see in the next box just how much I love it. Oh, it's so good, <laughs> this is so good. It's just a pumpkin cinnamon roll. Cakey and sweet and pumpkin-y and fall and it's so dang good i love it 
and its runner up is pumpkin cinnamon swirl another fantastic pumpkin scent very similar to pumpkin roll but instead what the difference is this is much sweeter this has more of a like vanilla like thick vanilla frosting with it to kind of balance out or almost drown out that like cinnamon note that's in there which is so funny because you would think by the scent description you would think pumpkin cinnamon swirl was spicier like more cinnamon more cinnamon forward um pumpkin roll is in my opinion okay we also have make me snickerdoodle another new release here and just a perfect snickerdoodle scent you can't go wrong uh we also have first day of fall which is another great fall pumpkin-y scent ah, really really nice i am like so set for fall it's not even funny now the weather just needs to get the memo okay we also have cranberry and cardamom another new release fantastic ah, so they did such a good job with this i love the cranberry the cardamom adds like some warmth to it mm, so good and we have the last four here. Then I can get this big silver. Oh, no. Five, six, seven. <laughs> okay, there's a few more. Okay, we've got the last seven bars here. So we've got two, no, just one. We've got one bar of Dutch apple bread. We have one bar of Palo Santo cinnamon. The Dutch apple bread is, is not for me. Uh, yeah, I just... I don't know there's something about this that's just mm, it's like kind of sour just kind of gets you right back here the palo santo cinnamon i am pleasantly surprised with liking as much as i do i still have to actually warm this but that's why i ordered another bar of this because i wanted multiple bars to be able to enjoy in like our full open concept here we'll see about that um frosted cedar another new release that totally has my heart so good <sighs> It's like an apple, citrusy, green, earthy scent. Mm, love it. Christmas Cottage, another favorite scent that you'll see here in the next box as well. Mm, so good. This is definitely as like spice forward as I can handle personally, uh, but it's balanced really well with like a citrus, like orange note to it as well. Cashmere Leaves from the Harvest Collection. Beautiful. Ah absolutely gorgeous love that one fall into love another one that i absolutely adore and all of the things oh it's so good also in the harvest collection and last but not least from the bars is forever fall another really really great one from the harvest collection of bars oh it's warm there's kind of like a, a caramel note pumpkin Oh, so, so good. All right, I need to make some room here before we dive into the things that are in here. Okay, now we have made some room, and while I was making some room, I did grab my beautiful sunflower uh, fragrance flower. Check this out. How pretty is this design? This, I just uh, opened this just like a day or two days ago. Um, so it's just starting to absorb the oil and that's why the oil there's still so much of it in there oh it's so nice ah oh, this is in the cashmere leaves scent it's so good it's so dang good i i love this it's perfect for the bathroom uh i will be stocking up on as many of these sunflower fragrance flowers as i possibly can when they are restocked because they are just beautiful i i love it and i feel like they're gonna wear really well meaning um typically out of the other fragrance flower designs i prefer the dahlia design because the buttercup bell it's just i feel like it's too leafy so it absorbs the oil and once those petals absorb the oil it's just like almost too heavy for the petals to like really stay up so they just like it, they just kind of like wilt down and look kind of rough but i feel like this is a nice like tight leafy design that i feel like this is gonna work so really super pretty love it okay moving on with this haul shall we okay so here oh these are the oils these are the bottles of oil so um i've got two uh oils to go with the fragrance flower flowers so this is the the part that comes in one box this is the part that comes in the other box so we have the oils 
So fall into love for the other two fragrance flowers, sunflowers. Okay, and then we have, that's what, I'm really excited about this. So we have a tabletop fan diffuser in dashing denim. So right now we actually have three designs. We have a really super cute um, jack-o'-lantern design that is a part of the Harvest collection. We also have another like speckled design. I have that one, um, but stay tuned for the like wall fan diffuser um, or fan diffuser systems um, series that we're gonna do with the pods and all of that because um, I will show you those individually, but. I do want to check this one out. <laughs> so we are going to unbox this. So you are going to see kind of what the technology is, how this works and all of that jazz. So what I love about this is that this is a very sturdy design. It's not like cheap or flimsy or anything like that. Um, this is beautiful. I don't know if you can hear that. It's a ceramic. So these are, a, it looks like a warmer, right? So it looks like a warmer. It sits tabletop, but it doesn't take wax. It takes the pods. So there's a little fan that is inside of this tabletop fan diffuser. You will just put one or two pods into your tabletop fan diffuser and you have instant fragrance. And this is this is a powerful little little diffuser. It really does throw the scent really, really well. Um, I am a big fan. No, this is not cordless. It does come with a cord. So um, it's just a little USB cord that you'll plug in and use. And it works really, really well. So this is the, they're calling it dashing denim design. So you have this um, really pretty kind of light blue color overall but then just kind of those like white chevron stripes um going all across the warmer or the the warmer see it looks like a warmer <laughs> it looks like a warmer it's a little bit more petite but it doesn't take wax it takes our scentsy pods so yeah really cool design i really like that but stay tuned um for like i said that series that's going to be coming up um, and we will break down the different designs how it works all of that good stuff. Okay, and next we have a couple of mini warmers here. Oh, that's not a mini warmer. <laughs> we have a, the, uh, look, we'll open this, um, the Mod Scentsy Warmer in black. If you did get a whiff box or if you saw my whiff box from this month, um, if not, I will link it down below in the description. I'll also put a card up here on the screen. Uh, spoiler, well, yeah, you probably already know. A mod warmer comes in in the scentsy whiff box for september so uh it's not the black one i got the taupe color sean really wanted the black so i did pick up this one in black so um i don't know that you're gonna really see a huge difference or anything and um, i was i did look into like what this is made out of and all of that because I, I was corrected that this is a plastic warmer which it is um it's just when i this is really loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, I did look into the material afterwards. So um, just while I'm filming, I just kind of like, I go for it and I'm kind of candid with everything. So, um, but this is, this is plastic. Some people think it looks cheap and flimsy. Uh, this is very lightweight for sure. Uh, this is a really affordable price point. This is very petite um it is plastic but i also think that makes it perfect for travel like seriously like this is so lightweight and i would have no problem at all like just throwing this by itself into my suitcase without like a box or anything when i bring my full-size warmers on travel because yes i do i do bring a full-size warmer typically a mini warmer as well i pack them in in their actual boxes because i don't want them to break this, I don't have to keep the box. Like I can totally, I mean, I'll keep it for storage and stuff, but for traveling, like I can just throw this in my suitcase. So it's a really nice petite design. It's just, it's all black and it's simple and Sean really likes it. So I got that for him. So we've got that for the mod warmer. Okay, and now for the actual mini warmers. We've got a couple of mini warmers here. Okay, so first we are going to unbox chilling brew and while i'm recording this 
these I believe these warmers are still currently available. The, the sunflowers need to be restocked, but these warmers that we're gonna be unboxing are still available. So um, what I will do like normal is at the end of this video, um, I will, whoo, nobody panic, nothing's broken. <laughs> uh, the warmer just got like kind of stuck in here. So pay attention when you are taking out your mini warmer because the shade of it might be stuck in the cardboard. But as I was saying, at the end of this video with the mini warmers and stuff, I will um, show you what they look like when they're plugged in and turned on, and then a more up close um, view of the full size warmers as well. So you can stay tuned for that. So this is the Chilling Brew Mini Warmer. This is ceramic. And I'm kind of loving that they went with this because if you have been around with Scentsy, you may be familiar with the Gingerbread Man um, Mini Warmer during the holidays that has this little like holiday cup and you have this little gingerbread man who's like taking a little bath ski in in a wax <laughs> so now we have a halloween version so we have trick-or-treat and we have a skeleton sitting in the warmer dish itself just basking in your favorite wax super fun <laughs> so we've got that one there and then my heart, <laughs> my heart cannot. Fall fairy tale pumpkin mini warmer. That's right. We have the fall fairy tale mini warmer. If you have the full size fall fairy tale um, full size warmer, you need the mini. If you don't have either, you need both. They are whimsical, majestic, and they're perfect, aren't they, Ranger? You wanna say hi? I don't know if you can see him or not. <laughs> he's he's coming in here like, come on, mom. Okay. Uh, fall fairy tale mini. Oh my gosh. Hi, buddy. You can say hi to our friends. Um, the thing with this particular warmer is that it's a little bit different in that uh, this is actually a 10 watt mini warmer. So don't put a 15 watt bulb into this mini warmer. This is not going to work with um, like putting it on a tabletop base or anything like that. This warmer is not made for a 15 watt bulb. So just putting it out there. It is made for 10 watts, which we do have the replacement bulbs of the 10 watt bulbs. So if you need to pick up some extras, you can do that. Okay, so we have that little box right there on top and this has our little lid for our pumpkin. Super cute. Okay, and then we have our base. This is a glass warmer, our 10 watt bulb which that was the one thing I actually did forget to place my order with this order is to um, grab the 10 watt replacement bulbs just to have, um, but I did place another order so that way I will be set. Okay, okay, so we have our 10 watt bulb here and now, here she is. Okay, this is not gonna look like super amazing until we really have this like plugged in but I just, oh, it's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. So does this, does this look familiar? How cute is this? Oh, I cannot, I cannot. It is so dang cute. So this is just going to secure onto your base, your wall plug base. So you'll put your 10 watt, bulb right inside just like that. This is a glass warmer, so you will, it's threaded, you screw it on to secure. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's so, so cute, so cute. So we will check this out all lit up and beautiful here shortly. Fall fairy tale mini warmer, I am so here for it. Okay, and that's not all because we do still have a couple of full-size warmers to check out and then we have a whole other box to dive into. <laughs> um, but this is gonna be the most, I think, like actual unboxing of warmers. I think the other one, we'll get into that here in just a second, but okay, you guys, you guys know by now. 
even if you're new here, you already know by now, I'm obsessed with pumpkins. <laughs> I have like a pumpkin collection and I'm just, I'm really excited to like set them all out. I think here in this room, I'm gonna like completely revamp like my background here with like all my fall stuff too. And I've already started with my fall warmers like throughout the house, so there needs to be a space for all my pumpkins. And this is no different. Harvest Bounty. Harvest Bounty. I think this is just one of the most adorable pumpkin warmers ever. I think it's very simple, um, but also very, very cute. So we have the lid here. See, so yeah, this is, I believe, a, um, a element warmer. So there's no light bulb or anything. Here, yeah, it is, it is an element warmer. It is petite. Love this so it has this kind of like so it is ceramic it is ceramic um a ceramic uh element warmer so once you have it turned on uh, there's a little light right back here that will illuminate when it is turned on um also what i will have you know is when you are looking at the warmer here at the top of the warmer with the lid off there is this little notch on the top there that's just to let you know like how to position your lid because there's another little like notch on the bottom of the lid so you'll just match that up so that way it's sitting correctly just like that because you don't want a sideways pumpkin right <laughs> so it's all um it's all this really pretty like creamy white color and then you have kind of like a woven pattern as if it's like a fabric almost it's so so cute really petite now let's see what the wattage is on this little guy here um is this gonna be like eight watts this is nine watts so due to the size and stuff i think that's just fine and i think this is probably gonna go in this room here it's so hard to like decide like where all my warm where i want all my warmers because i'm like but i really want to like really like see it and enjoy it like here in this room i spend i spend a lot of time in here because i'm filming but i don't really look too much at the warmers behind me like i come in here to like do my makeup and stuff but i'm not really like looking at the stuff behind me so it's always kind of hard to decide like what warmers go in here but this is just so dang cute i love it so this is the harvest bounty warmer that is a part of the harvest collection this year i love it it is so dang cute okay now last but most certainly not least for this box we have a very special warmer and to be totally honest to be totally honest i am shocked that it is still available because i was so worried that this was going to sell out like within minutes but it is still currently available and it is the mickey mouse jack-o-lantern Scentsy warmer. This might look very familiar to you if you've been to a Disney park or two in your time. Um, gotta check this out. So let's, oh my gosh. <laughs> so right when you open the box, like this is the, this is the thing you have to realize with Scentsy. Like, are they more expensive? Sure. You are getting quality in the product and the attention to detail is just, it's not like anything else. So even if it is in the packaging, think. <laughs> How cute is that? That just makes you, that just makes you smile. You're gonna be smiling because you have this collector's warmer here, but then you open that and it's like, that's perfect. So we have our dish here and the dish is green and leafy underneath here. This does have a little number four, so that's just letting you know you can still use up to four Scentsy cubes from your Scentsy bar in this warmer. All right, let's check out the magic shall we all right so we have the warmer i will say i feel like no i guess that's about what i was expecting in terms of like size i, I was thinking maybe it would be a touch bigger it's good though i feel like that's a good size okay let's check this out Okay, so we have it all plugged in. We have the 25 watt bulb that is all screwed into the warmer. Um, there is a little like yellow sleeve that is just on the inside. I like that because it's gonna give you more of a like glow rather than like a blinding light, like right through the whole cutouts, if that makes sense. So just gonna put the dish 
right inside here just like so. This is your Mickey Mouse Jack-O-Lantern warmer that is still currently available. Let's check this out, what it looks like when it's turned on. We will get a closer look at the end when we're checking out the mini warmers as well, but let's check this out here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's so cute. And what you probably can't tell because of my ring light is that the whole warmer does glow. You just have that um, that's Mickey Mouse smiley face that is um, that is much brighter, but the whole warmer itself does illuminate and, and give off a little soft glow. Oh, it's so perfect. <laughs> oh yeah, if you are a Disney fan, if you are a Mickey fan, if you are a Disney park enthusiast. I feel like you definitely need this to add to your collection for sure. Super, super cute. All right, so that is what we have for the first box of this haul. Now we are going to dive into the second box. Like I said, if you're still hanging on with me, thank you so much. There shouldn't be too much longer because I feel like there's not as much like unboxing to it, but let's go ahead and clean up and then we'll dive in. Okay, so I have cleared off some space. I have brought over the other box. So let's go ahead and wrap up this haul, shall we? Okay, um, I, I told you there was more dish soap. <laughs> I am not joking with you when I say I am obsessed with our dish soap obsessed so we only have the one scent that is currently available which is autumn road trip lucky for me i love that scent but honestly even if i was down to like my last bottle that i had here and if all that i could purchase was cloudberry dreams if you know me i i don't like cloudberry dreams it's just not the scent for me i would still buy our dish soap by the truckload and cloudberry dreams like that's how much i love the product really really I, I love it so um autumn road trip we've got three more bottles in this box <laughs> and then we also have a counter clean in scarlet sunflower a counter clean in autumn road trip and a counter clean in johnny Appleseed. so i did the three bundle of the counter cleans um don't forget you can bundle more than just wax you can bundle cleaning products you can bun bundle laundry products you can bundle all kinds of things including um the counter cleans so don't forget when you are placing orders go to the specials tab and check out the bundles or if you are unsure um reach out to your consultant and just say hey i'm needing to order some stuff can we make sure i'm getting the best possible deal and they'll make sure you're getting the best possible deal so i went ahead with the three uh counter clean bundle this stuff is magic in a bottle you've heard me talk about it before it is so dang good it's you can use it on so much more than just your countertops it will clean stains out of basic almost anything honestly rugs couches carpets bedding you name it you use it on way more than just your countertops um stainless steel appliances makes it look brand new so needless to say i love it <laughs> so we've got three of the counter cleans there and next next up we have We've got bricks, friends. I am so, so excited that Sensi has decided to add bricks to the seasonal catalog. That's right, we are not even in brick season yet. We are close. We are close to brick season, but we're not there yet. And I got my hands on some bricks. <laughs> so I'm so super pumped. Some of my favorite scents right now, there are only three that are currently available. And I, I'm not even meaning only because well, because I am just so happy that they are readily available to us to, to order individually whenever we want. We do have bricks available in many more fragrances through Scentsy Club, but just as an individual purchase, we have three. The three bricks are Christmas Cottage. Look at this, you guys. This is enormous. It's enormous. Five and a half, almost six bars in one brick. So if it's a scent you really like, this is great, great bang for your buck here. So Christmas Cottage, we have two of my beloved pumpkin roll. Oh yes, I cannot get enough of this scent for sure. So two bricks, no brainer for me. And then very snowy spruce. So while I'm not entirely ready for the Christmas scents yet, I did figure, let me just go ahead and pick it up while I, while I am purchasing other bricks and then this will definitely come in handy in the coming months for sure so oh, holy bricks you guys <laughs> so 
so exciting that they are readily available to us. So, okay, and now we have a couple other things here. So we have the pumpkin delivery lid to go with our retro truck warmers. Um, so you can purchase the pumpkin delivery lid just on its own. Um, if you already have a retro truck warmer, we have, um, we have the white one, if you'll remember from my haul previously, if you didn't see that one, I will link it down below. Also a card up here. If you haven't checked that out, definitely check it out. Um, but yeah, you can purchase the pumpkin delivery lid on its own if you like. Um, or right now it is currently available while I'm recording this as like a set with the white retro truck warmer with the lid included. But if you have some of our older retro truck warmers, we had one in blue, we had one in red as well as in black. So, and then now we've got one in white. So, um, we've got those. We also have, um, two here of the retro, obviously I already have mine. So these are not mine, <laughs> but we do have two more of the retro white truck pumpkin warmer with, I could say pumpkin warmer with pumpkin delivery lid. So these, if you, like I said, if you did not see my video unboxing my own, um, check out that video. Cause I, I did unbox mine and then, um, got like up close and personal with it. These are not mine. So I don't really want to unbox them just for like today's video sake. And last but not least, we do have one more warmer to share here and it is the Verve warmer. This I feel like is going to be so incredibly beautiful. So I'm really excited to see this all lit up. And this warmer is really special because it is actually made from 100% um, recycled glass from Mexico. And the colors on this are absolutely beautiful. So um, we have this warmer dish here. I mean, you can tell this is, it's different. This is, this is different. I love this. Okay, let's check out how special this warmer is. In fact, let me read to you um, directly from Sensi about this warmer. Okay, so Sensi says about the Verve warmer, made from 100% recycled glass in Mexico, each Verve warmer is hand blown and unique in its own way. From the colors of the glass to the bead shapes within it, approximately eight small glass bottles are repurposed into each warmer, which is skillfully crafted over 18 hours from start to finish. And while the appearance of these artisan pieces will vary, each one is a beautiful symbol of renewal. So I love that they did this. It is definitely special and it is, super colorful and happy and I love that. So let's check this out. Oh my gosh, look at the colors on this. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, we've got to plug this baby in, put the light bulb in and check this out in all of its beauty. Okay, so we've got the 25 watt bulb all plugged in here and then we've got the warmer dish. This is a really hearty like glass warmer dish. It's really thick and it's it's kind of got some weight to it, which I really really like. So let's check this out. All lit up. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't know if my camera is going to really do this justice. Let's hope it does focus a little bit. Definitely at the end of this video, um, when I am doing, when I'm giving you a close up of the other warmers, I'll definitely have this lined up with it. Oh, this is gorgeous. I love the different colors. This is definitely a bright piece for sure. If you're wanting a soft, subtle glow, this is not going to be the piece for you, but this is definitely bright and happy and colorful. I love this. 100% recycled glass from Mexico hand-blown glass absolutely gorgeous this is the verve warmer so there you have it that is my massive haul <laughs> that is that is the big one that i was waiting on so i hope you enjoyed this i know this was a long video so i do apologize um but i like going through and unboxing and sharing these things with you guys so i hope you found it helpful or entertaining Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content, if you like the hauls, I greatly appreciate it. If you are new, please subscribe. If you already subscribed, be sure to hit the notification bell, that way you stay up to date with all things Scentsy. Now let's go check out a more up close and personal um, view of some of these warmers, and then I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.
Okay, friends, so now it's time to get a little closer look at these warmers, both when they're off as well as when they're on. I like just to be able to come up a little bit closer to show you some of the details and things, um, so I hope you find this helpful. I did bring the Harvest Bounty warmer out here as well. Um, this is going to look the same when it's off as well as when it's on, with the exception of when it's on. <laughs> your little indicator light will be illuminated, but um, I just wanted to be able to show you some of the detail a little bit closer. I just think this is the most precious warmer ever. <laughs> I love this so much. Um, I think this one is gonna go in my Sensi room. I just, I love it. I think it's super, super cute, but um, I like the little texture that is on there, kind of like that woven pattern. You've got the lid with the whole cutouts just to be able to release the fragrance. But if you want to um, take the lid off to get optimal scent throw, you can do that as well. But I don't know, I like it when it when it's on. So a little notch there. So that is the Harvest Bounty Warmer. All right, now let's check out some of these warmers when they are off and when they are on that you can definitely tell a difference. So I think we'll go ahead and start with the Verve warmer. Again, just coming up nice and close so that you can see how beautiful those colors are. Um, I, I love this and I love the fact that it's all recycled glass. So we've seen what it looks like off. Now let's check out what it looks like when it's turned on. Oh, you guys, it's just stunning and that pattern that it casts both um, on the surface that it's sitting on as well as the wall around it absolutely gorgeous and just those colors are bright they are rich and i just i love this piece i really really do and i feel like pictures definitely don't do this one justice honest and truly even here on my camera i feel like it's not even really giving you like the adequate amount of beauty that this piece offers really honestly it's a gorgeous one for sure so that is the verve warmer okay now moving right along here to mickey mouse all right so here is the Disney Mickey Mouse Jack-O-Lantern warmer. Um, as I did mention, there is a little yellow sleeve that's on the inside here, um, just which I actually really like. It kind of still allows the warmer to glow without it being like super blinding. So we've seen it off. Now let's check it out when it's all lit up. Love it. <laughs> so fun. We've got pumpkins at the base. Super cool warmer for sure. And definitely a collector's piece for you Disney lovers out there for sure. So that is the Disney Mickey Mouse Jack-O-Lantern warmer. And now right up top here, we are going to go to the Chilling Brew Mini Warmer. Um, so this one is not going to put off a ton of light, as you will see. <laughs> so there are some hole cutouts behind the warmer, so it will give you just a little bit of glow behind the warmer itself, but the warmer shade itself does not um, glow. And then you will just add some wax in there to his little wax spa, <laughs> if you will, and enjoy. So, trick or treat, super cute. Okay, another one that I wanted to kind of just come up close on is the, um, is the tabletop diffuser that I showed here in this haul. I really, really like this color and the pattern and everything. Definitely a versatile piece that you can keep out all year. Um, I don't know if I mentioned during the unboxing or not. It's because we've been spending lots of time together. <laughs> Um, so it does come with a little USB cord here. So you'll just need a wall plug or this can just plug into anywhere that has um, a USB port. And then as I showed you earlier, you will just put the pods right in here. So you can put one pod, you can actually fit up to two pods. So I figured I'd show you that. So these are the pods that we have here. We have Christmas Cottage. 
Love this. So as I, as I mentioned, you can do one pot at a time if you like, or this can fit up to two. So you'll just drop it in there like so, and you will plug it in and turn it on. There is a little power switch at the, in the back. So that's where you're going to plug in the cord and then that little button next to um, the little port there, that is your on and off switch. So you can add one pod or you can even add two. Instant fragrance, no wax to spill or anything if you are worried about that. So super, super cute. Now coming over here to our fall fairy tale duo here. So I actually have the full size fall fairy tale warmer from last year. This is absolutely a favorite of mine. So when I saw that they were releasing a mini, I knew I had to have it. So figured I would just bring it over. This isn't typically where I have this warmer displayed, um, but I wanted to bring it over because, well, we're looking at its little mini. <laughs> so um, we have the fall fairy tale mini warmer. Super duper cute and check it out when it's turned on you guys Super super cute Obsessed I'm obsessed and then look at them together So dang cute So whimsical I love it If you love pumpkins as much as I do I feel like you need both of these in your life. So sweet. So there you have it. I hope seeing these warmers a little bit closer, a little bit more detail. I hope you found this helpful. All right, you guys, thank you again so much for hanging out with me today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.